If you want to learn something, read it. If you want to know something, write it. If you want to master something, teach it. Everyone in this world is a student, but not everyone is a teacher. Humans learn new things every single day during their lifetime. When humans are accompanied by another person, while studying, that is when their brains connect with each other. Teaching revises what you have learned and helps the person you're teaching, therefore helping both individuals during the discussion. A concept to remember is that a student is not a dictation machine, which repeats words over and over until it is implanted in his mind, and therefore forgets it after a while. The most important part of the day during school is in the classroom, where students have full degree of motion when doing anything. The focus in the classroom creates discipline and gives you an understanding of the subject. How your teacher teaches the subject, what technique does he use to implement these in his class, what key questions does he bring up during class, why does he say what he is saying. One difficult thing to do during class itself is to take notes and simultaneously listen to your teacher. This is where note taking comes in. There are four main note taking methods. From them, the easiest depends on the person using the method and the time frame it is used in. The easiest method from all these methods is the mind map method. A topic is chosen, the date and the class are put in the middle. The topic then branches off into a few subtopics. Then those subtopics branch off into ideas and thoughts. Softwares like The Brain make it easier for you to mind map on a device. The simplest and most straightforward method is the outline method, which is where you take top level bullet points of all the main points in the lecture, then you make lower level bullet points to fill out all the details. The basis of both of these note taking methods is that they start with the main topic and then they branch off to a subtopic and finally a thought or idea. The most basic method of note taking is the flow method created by Scott Young, who went through the entire MIT science curriculum in a single year. The flow method decodes your thinking of the subject and makes it easier for you to take notes. Just like the mind map method, a topic is in the middle and that topic is then used to construct more subtopics which are connected by arrows. Detail can be added by using bullet points. The most organized way of taking notes is the Cornell method, coined from the Cornell University, was used when students needed to take detailed notes during long lectures in class. The Cornell note-taking method is simple. The page is divided into three parts, the queue or the column for key info, the notes section and the summary section. The queue is for key questions for you to review later the notes section for answering those questions, and the summary is for the notes of the session. There is a technique in passing an exam, studying hard and not gaining enough sleep, performing study in topics which are not going to be shown during the exam is not a good approach to getting good grades. To understand the subject of study, you must understand how the teacher teaches the subject, what techniques does he use and why. Focusing on the key aspects that the teacher discusses in class will provide you the fruit of your work.